Hey guys, Noise here with another daily recap. So it's only 9.45. I actually took my last trade at this candle which is 9.41 and I decided to call it a day. Since um, 10 a.m. the feds are having a talk, so there's a lot of anticipation going on. Sorry for my, I guess, sorry for my speaking today since um, I got my I've got my retainer on, so it's kind of hard for me to pronounce some some letters. So yeah, without further ado, I think today the market isn't that good. Like you can see, these are the leading gappers, and ARQQ basically came out of nowhere. I actually had a lot of other tickets on here, but none of them hold. So basically, it all flushes. Um. <laughs> Sorry if I sound a little weird because of the retainers. So yeah, all this you can see are my swings aren't doing too good too. So the first ticker I traded was BBIG. So yeah, as you can see. I added here, uh, this is kind of a riskier move. Like, I'm okay with losing. Since I added here, I wanted to play the downtrend and maybe break the downtrend, which it did. Like, for a good 3 minutes but I refuse to buy in because I think maybe it could hold a 50 EMA so when it broke the 50 EMA and I was walking on a fine line so when it opened uh, it opened here then when you went down to 11 I basically punched the sale which was kind of stupid of me like at I think I got a pretty good position buy in. So at max, I'm only losing 27 cents. So, not sure what this is about for myself. Um, so I sold out here exactly on the 11 on the bid. And after that, it flashes up. So it's really, really frustrating. As you can see, I stayed here. I think I was too impatient, thinking it wouldn't hold 11 because. Back then, the 5 minute was looking like. Let me show you. Yeah, back then, the 5 minute was looking like this. So, um, when it went on 11, which is below the view up, I immediately punched the. Actually, it's, yeah, it's below the view up, so I immediately punched the sale. Maybe it could flush down to 10, and maybe have a bounce from 10 or something like that. As you can see, it's pretty choppy for the daily. So turns out I was wrong. It seems like eleven and view up is pretty strong, I guess. Yeah, it stated fear clouded my judgment. So the poor thing, um basically I should let it run another ten cent, twenty cent. It's not gonna hurt too much. Since I mean it's not gonna I mean it's hard to say as you can see it just basically went down to ten thirty like this. So at the open, it could also went to 10.30, seems like there's a good, never mind, I want to say there's a good bottom at this area, so, yeah, 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 okay. So yeah, this could happen, so I thought 11 was a good sell off, which I did, seems like it got bought up and then basically a pump and dump, some big trader or some traders with chat rooms probably did this like they bought in at this price and all their viewers bought in so they got out here and they basically sold off and all their viewers have to sell off so yeah just a tiny loss here just 27 cent loss which is okay just that this will put me down a little bit and actually I was pretty frustrated Immediately after I sell this off, I see it went up to 12, 28, 21. However, like I said, thankfully, yeah, QQ out of nowhere. I had this on my ticker previously, it was only gapping pretty averagely, like not much, maybe 8%. Uh, so the daily has a really, really crazy topping tail. However, it could still open higher today, so I'm quite bullish about it. Thinking I bought here for it to clear the pre market high, 
which she did. Uh, I basically got bailed up. Uh, I was down from BBIG, ARQQ. This basically bailed me out. I got in here and it went into, went into a halt. I was like, oh man. Like, I wasn't expecting this because of the 10 a.m. pet talk. So yeah, it cleared the PMH into a hop. So how bad at that time? Uh, it was one six two two around there. They did it did went down to as low as fifteen fifty sixteen. Pretty crazy. But when it popped, there was a bit. I just saw some bit at twenty twenty get filled. So that's pretty insane. So which is why I was quite bullish on it. Uh, you burn so. I took half here, I just want to play like no matter what, I could never lose. So I sold half here and if it did come down to this level, I would just sell off and I would still make a profit. Even if it lagged a little, I got, got off around the pre-market high, I would still make a profit. So I sold off half here and I let the half to run. Then greed, greed comes in. Um, in my head, I'm saying like, all right, so it has room up to 26. I'm not so greedy for 26, maybe like a 24, 20. Then I will sell off since it could, it could resist off 25. That's at the top of my head. So seeing how the action is and seeing how the level two went up pretty nice and I went down here still holding pretty nice. However, it did not go up as quickly as I thought. Like. When it was at this area, I was thinking maybe it will have to clear 20 first. So maybe it could resist up 20 and then bounce off somewhere to go up again. So knowing that, uh, I'm not going to write it for it to be 20 because this is like seeing who will pull the trigger first, right? So when it's going up, then people start pulling trigger. It will, this will happen. So instead of that, I want to place it. I'll be the first to pull the trigger. Of course, the top is 19. I'm okay a bit. I got 1844. So, got out here, and yeah, this is what everybody's thinking. So, I got out here, then maybe some of them go around here, 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 and bam. So, I'm okay a bit. Two trades, as you can see, didn't really hold since it's nearing 10. For me, I didn't care. One is it's nearing 10. I don't want to hold it to 10, like. That becomes a gamble, right? If the fat fat stock looks good, sorry. <clears throat> then yeah, we can have a bigger motion, but if it's bad, it's gonna tank. So I'm not taking any chances since if it's good, I can always still buy in again. So yeah, two trades, BBRG, pretty. I'm okay with this twenty-seven cent loss, and it went up. Uh, I guess I could have played like the the most. Yeah, maybe I will lose another 30 cents. So I guess I can live with this. This is okay. I would say this is a B trade. ARQQ, perfect A trade, definitely. So other than that, say the hot up and hot up again. Then basically it just dips back down to this level again before the level it got hotted up. Pretty strange, but yeah, 10 am soon. So I'm glad I left early. I left at 44. 41, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, IS event. Pretty nice. Was in the. Was in my trade ideas. However, I did not really like the pre market volume. So, I didn't even add it. And since it was around 78% or 10, I didn't really care. Since I don't think this will be the one that's moving today. But nice ABCD pattern and uh, 24%, pretty decent. However, uh, they don't trade it. DMC, I really like it. Uh, when I first see what's this, I was thinking maybe if I end here. R9 is good, I can resolve this. And I have room to run up this. However, I didn't. So, a second time we went up again. Should be a clear sign. Then, probably some people bought the flash here. So, oh, it's really juicy. About $3 here. However, it's still back to red. Um, yeah, it was around 4.7% at one point. So yeah, other than that, ANY, any really nice. Seems like this ticker has been going for a couple of days, as you can see. It's green, 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 green. Nice big green, and slight pullback to the green. 
because it is running, we are definitely leave this in my in my watch list. So yeah, that's all the tickers I look at. I left in my watch list to to think that it's worth watching. So yeah, um, I haven't counted my PNL today, so I'll, maybe I'll just you guys can you guys will definitely see it from my thumbnail and also my video title. So I'm gonna call it a short day today. The one over the say my welcome basically was could be a red day, but AI could build me out. So that's why I need to have um good trading habits again and to keep. I mean, you will never go broke having green days right so uh definitely i got the most out of today's market than what i could imagine so walking away with the win doesn't matter how much it is and main point is to have good trading habits so yeah that's all for today's day recap and as usual stay safe trade safe and do drop a like and comment with it it will really help the channel to grow and definitely help the algorithm. So yeah, and one thing I learned is maybe I should not put on retainers before um I make a daily recap. So sorry for today's speech, I guess. Today's recap since it's really hard for me to talk with retainers on. Uh, yeah, um stay safe guys. Uh September is First week of September is over and seems like the market is still not fully hit up yet but I could see some action so it's the best to get your training habit going now like this is the best way of time to learn since it's the fluctuation isn't that crazy so but it has a lot of movement both sides so remember just take your profit and scale up like even if I fully scale out here and it, okay even if I scale out here and it went to 26 I'm okay with it for myself since this is more than what I could get and I got this out here it should be way more sufficient like if it did run up to 26 then yeah go for it so you wouldn't want to end up like this so piece of advice, always scale out, especially during this period of time, unless the market has proven to be really, really hot, then you can make really aggressive, really aggressive plays. So yeah, that's all for today's recap. Now I'll see you guys first thing tomorrow morning. Alright, peace.